Hey guys, when starting a Flutter project, you get to a point where you think about project structure. There's so many different folder structures out there, but quite often they follow a similar pattern, like layer first or feature first. Especially for larger projects, it is important to think about structure because it affects scalability, maintainability, and it also can save you precious time developing the app. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. So let's start off with layer first. This is a very simple structure where you have a folder for each layer. Say you have some user related data that you want to edit and store in your app. So there has to be a class in every folder. So in data for storing, in domain for the business logic, presentation for the flutter widgets and providers for the controllers, blocks or qubits. When working on a feature, you have to switch between those layers. For small apps, this pattern is quickly done and very simple. But it is not very scalable. So when the app grows, you have more features in there and all those classes for a feature are more distant to each other. The solution to this is the feature first pattern. So here you create your feature folders first and then you create the layers within the features. So you have all your feature related classes together in one folder. And there's more to project structures. What about shared code, themes or cloud functions? Where should they be put in? A simple but less structured way is to create a common or shared folder. And it can include any shared thing, like a configuration, constants, formatters for formatting dates or currencies. I also like to put themes in there and type extensions. And you can also put some shared services or widgets in there. And while this works for smaller applications, when the app grows larger, then you're at a point again where everything is within this shared folder and has no structure. So there's also a different way to do it. And I like to call it core app approach. So basically you put your application in another folder called app, and then you create another folder on the same level. It's called core. And in there you create a structure for shared code. So for presentation, you have your dialogues, widgets and themes. There's also a service folder and there you can also add more folders for the layers, like for the data layer as well. It really depends on what kind of shared code you have. Let's take a look at things that I would put outside of the application. There is the assets folder that can include translations for different languages and also images used within the application and also the app icon itself. For some cases, I did some local changes for a package and saved them within a folder. And then they can be included in the application using the pubspec YAML. And also the Firebase Cloud functions can be placed outside of the application folder. And I think this is a pretty good approach for large projects. Now I would like to know what kind of approach you like. And maybe there's another cool approach you would like to share. Just write in the comments down below.